Hi again, Irish fans. Welcome to our coverage of the 2013 NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. I'm Chris Masters, joined by the voice of the Fighting Irish, Bob Nagel. And, Bob, we're here in Iowa City getting ready for round one of the NCAA tournament. It'll be the Fighting Irish taking on the 16th-seeded Tennessee Martin Skyhawks, the champions of the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament. And, you know, it's uh, 18 years in a row, 20 overall for Notre Dame in the NCAA tournament, but it never gets old. Never gets old, and of course we were here 17 years ago with the uh, women's team in the preseason NIT. Actually knocked out 7th ranked uh, Iowa here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Terrific place to play. Holds about 16,000 fans, and it'll be rocking with the teams here, especially, guess what, Iowa's here. But uh, we've had a tremendous season. You know, they won their postseason tournament. We won our postseason tournament and the regular season. We're uh, a team with one loss coming off the loss of three starters a year ago. Muffet McGraw grow up for coach of the year and why not I mean she's done a tremendous job with this team melding the younger players with the uh, the veterans and uh, Skylar Diggins and uh, Kayla Turner our two senior leaders have done a great job as you can see behind us the Fighting Irish are getting ready for tomorrow's game against the Skyhawks it'll be a 405 central time tip a 505 eastern time tip and Bob Tennessee Martin I tell you what high scoring team a couple of really talented guards and they're the only team in the country with two players in the top 10 in scoring. Both of them average about 22 points a game, and they are very quick, and they do like to shoot the three. Uh, I don't know why, but when all the notes are coming out about this, nobody's mentioned much about what an effective defensive team we've been. Over the course of the last two or three years, we've been able to hold the other team's leading scorers sometimes to single figures, if not shut them out. Andy Martin from DePaul a couple years ago. So uh, our kids welcome the challenge defensively. And uh, I don't know if they've ever seen Skylar Diggins. I don't know if they've ever seen uh, Jewel Lloyd. I don't know if they've ever seen our, our bench strength and our, and our players who can come off with a lot of quickness to play defense. The good news is they're 5'5 five, five and 5'7. Five, so Whitney Holloway is feeling pretty good about herself. And Kayla Turner is going to have a height advantage for maybe one of the few times. But we will play great defense against them. And then, the, you know, the, uh, the thing about scoring, uh, we can score on the inside. They have one player who averages nine points, eight rebounds inside. She's a good, strong young lady. But uh, all of a sudden, aerial breakers become a very effective player and I love what Marquisha writes to and guess what she's home again in Iowa. Notre Dame starts its 18th consecutive appearance in the NCAA championship Sunday 505 Eastern time against the Tennessee Martin Skyhawks. We'll have all the post-game coverage right here on UND.com and join us back here we'll have additional coverage throughout the weekend here in Iowa City but for Bob Nagel I'm Chris Masters UND.com. Oh!